It's an unusual place to be for a then Deputy Secretary of State of the United States, a Passover Seder in Indonesia, where a mixed crowd of Jews and Muslims presumably sang the traditional dayenu and ate the traditional matzah. But for Anthony Blinken, Jewish, it was unnatural. Men and women of different faiths gathered to celebrate an ancient Jewish tradition here in a Muslim-majority country is a very powerful thing. With U.S. President-elect Joe Biden tapping Blinken as a Secretary of State, there's a sense of comfort among Israelis and among pro-Israel voices in Washington. A moderate, familiar with Israel and Israeli concerns, with praise coming from both left and right. He is Jewish. He comes from an interesting background. His father's a Holocaust survivor. Um, and he understands. He understands Israel. That doesn't mean we don't have policy disagreements, uh, whether on the, the peace process, uh, potentially on the Iranian deal. Jake Sullivan, tapped to be national security advisor, is also seen by many as a moderate establishment voice. Not that there won't be serious differences on policy, especially on Iran. Insight and accountability to Iran's nuclear program, not for a small number of years, but for the lifetime of that program. This is the good deal that we have sought. And then there's John Kerry, set for a cabinet-level post on climate change. Not a sensitive subject in U.S.-Israel relations, but still a figure who is not beloved in Israel, and a figure many Israelis would rather not see in meetings of the U.S. National Security Council, even if the overall reception for Biden's new team is decidedly upbeat.